By the way, raising in the big blind after two limpers and a small blind call, that's really dicey. I mean, you have to have a hand. And he did. And this is why you have to raise more than 90 more. He had a legitimate hand. He had queens, and he should have raised out of there. That was the correct play. He didn't raise enough. He didn't raise enough. People were getting over 2-1 to one on their calls. They made the correct play. Dude flop top pair. What's he going to do? He's not going to fold that. And then he hit, you know, the ace on the turn, and this guy loses a chunk. Got to raise more. And if you're having trouble with raise amounts, just, you know, pick a number. Add that number to the pot and look at what kind of odds your opponent is going to have to call that raise when it gets back to them. I mean, obviously, you're not going to have enough time to do that if you're playing more than one table most of the time or, you know, if you don't have a time bank left or whatever. But, you know, if you're having, if you're having trouble with not raising enough a lot... Start raising way more than normal and see what happens. You know what? I'm not even calling here, and here's why. Here, here's why I'm not even calling here with ace-jack. Because this hand gets in trouble so badly against the hands that he would raise under the gun that you would call with, that he would call with. I pretty much need ace and a jack here to feel comfortable with the hand. Like, if I flop just a jack or just an ace, just a jack isn't bad. You're usually going to have the best hand there, but... You know what? At this stage of the tournament with, you know, three other people in the raise pot, I'm comfortable just folding ace-jack. Because, I mean, ace-jack is not that great a hand, to be honest with you. It just isn't. <sighs> this guy's got a full house, probably. Let's see what are we doing here? We're playing seven hand we're playing seven handed here, so I don't mind the I don't I don't mind a raise here. See we're still actually we just dropped a guy here, so we're actually playing seven handed here. Yeah, full house like I said. So I'm just gonna raise it up with uh, oh wow, everybody folded. I'll take it. <sighs> yeah. I always pay attention to your uh, table makeup. When people drop, pay attention. You know what? I'm not even limping behind. I was going to raise it if this guy folded, but I'm not going to limp behind with King Jack. I don't want to play a six handed pot with King Jack. Hate King Jack. King Jack, King 10, don't like either one of them. What a terrible flop. Had no hand, no draw. Yeah, that's a pretty easy fold. Do seven. Raisin and re raisin. <laughs> I'm happy to get a free flop of this. And I'm done with it. <laughs> I'll fold here. That got checked pretty fast. I have no chance to win this except for betting at it, and I am going to fire at it. Everybody checked really fast on the fucking uh, flop, so. Wow, everybody called, huh? Wow, these guys are absolutely terrible. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, he had, a, he had a pair on the turn. That sucks. I if I would have fired at that on the flop, I'd have had it easily. Right, what'd the other guy have? Seven, six. Oh, yeah, I would have had it easily. That sucks. Would have fired on the flop, I'd have had it easily. Oh, well. I don't like limping with this, and it's not strong enough to re-raise. So in a situation like this, I like to just fold them. I mean, it seems really tight, but 
we're playing seven handed again it's not suited you're really only happen hoping to flop an ace and when you do you got two people limped in in front of you they could have bigger aces it's too early it's too early to be playing a seven offsuit behind two limpers it just is I like to stay away from a6, a7, a8. I would much rather play I'd much rather play like a4. At least you can make a straight, a very well disguised straight. Also, when you make two pair with a4, no one gives you credit for having better than a pair of aces. There's a real hand. Never folding this seven-handed, obviously. And if somebody raises in front of you with ace-queen, you're going to be calling. You're not going to be folding it. That else hand guy seems pretty loose and pretty terrible. So I don't mind if he's going to be calling out of position and raise pots against me. Doesn't bother me at all. Oh wow, looks like we're down to 18 already on this one. Oh, we're down we're down to 18 on both of them. Halfway to the final table. Wow, that's a huge raise in the blinds. From Mr. Pet Icon. Now remember what I said about sport sport team representations. Now I feel like I should make an addendum to that. College icons is a little different because you're not supporting like one pro team, you're just saying that college specifically. It's not even necessarily a sports thing to be honest. So I don't really have any hang-ups about college icons like this. That isn't really, I mean, I don't really have any indication. So, I mean, it helps to have, it helps to know the difference between some of the pro icons and the college icons because I found that the college, the college icons a lot of times means that that person is in college and usually the, you know, the younger college age players are better players and usually the pro sport icons are like guys in their 40s. So it's a little bit different. I got two callers here behind with the fucking ace king here. Oh yeah. I'm pretty much never folding this on the flop and a sit and go. Uh, I'm going to raise here. I'm going to raise here to let him know that I have a hand and if this guy has a draw he's going to pay for it. Big time. And I'm fine with that. Absolutely fine with that people get out of hand and the funny thing is the, the craziest thing about that hand that most people don't realize is that if I have two kings in my hand I'm making the same raise the vast majority of the time I'm just gonna fold this I have bottom pair bottom pair and an overcard but there's straight draws there's a flush draw even if you hit your jack you might not be good it's just silly especially at this stage in the tournament you know, there's 18 people left. I mean, you're only a third of the way through the fucking tournament. Mm 